Welcome. In this video, we'll be going over Link Checker. Link Checker is a very handy tool in which you can just search all the links of a website. It is multi-threaded and it's also recursive. So keep in mind, if you have a large website, it can take a long time. So installing Link Checker is very easy. We just need to type in apt-get install Link Checker. So I already had it installed, um, but if you do not, it's just going to take a few more seconds. Okay, so running link checker is done using the link checker command. And so we just need to pass in a domain name. Okay, at this point, I just hit Control-C to stop. Otherwise, it would just take a really long time since it's a large website. So one 404 that we found was a path to this loading animated GIF. Um, so it gives you the error status code. So 404, obviously, that means not found. It'll also find things like 500 errors, which is some sort of a server error. Um, and just basically anything that's not a 200 response, it should be able to find. And also look for warnings. These are less severe things. Um, so anything that has like a trailing white space. So as we see this um, email link, mail to link, there's a white space at the end that's part of the um, href basically. And notice all the links that it finds are just internal to the website. So basically within the same domain name, uh, links you know, pointing to other URLs on the on basically on the website. Uh, so if we up arrow to pull up our command again, and we want to check uh, the external links also, so we can add a add an option for that. As check dash so double hyphen check extern. Okay, I'm gonna hit Control C to stop again. So we noticed there's a couple of Twitter links that they had at one time that they're still somewhere on the website, but uh, they're no longer there basically. And then as before, it found some of those assets like uh, loading images and sprites, um, which are very easy if you take the, basically still have a reference to you know, in your to like a CSS file or an image, um, it's very easy to make a change to your site and forget to pull the link to that image out. Okay, and the final thing um, to cover is you could, since this is a really large website, we can limit the recursion depth. So we can just pass in a dash R um, with a number. So if we dash R and then a one, that's going to limit our recursion depth to, it's only going to go one level deep. And then if we just run that, um, it's going to go a lot faster. Whereas if we just let it recursively go through every single page, it can take a really long time. Okay, so now that we let this one finish, so we went one level deep, it took about oh, 40 seconds or so. And then it gives you like a little rundown of your statistics and it, whether or not it found any errors. So this has been an introduction to using Link Checker. Uh, Link Checker, like I said, it's a very useful tool to just have handy. I've also found it very valuable to run it just anytime I make some large structural changes to a site or just something to have and run just periodically um, on all the sites that you manage. Okay, in this part of the video, we're gonna go through the process of getting Link Checker set up and run on the Mac. It is available, you can set this up. Um, there's a package in pip called Link Checker. Um, it's the same project, but it has not been updated in several years. So I found this post by Brian Cantoni. Um, he walks through some steps. This is a more recent version. Um, so if we use this repository, uh, this will work better than the 
version that has not been updated in a long time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clone this one. And I'm going to go back to the terminal window. And I'm going to check out this uh, repository. And just have to wait a few moments for this to download. Okay, so we should have a folder called link checker. So I'll go ahead and CD into that. So the next step in the process, we checked out the source files. We need to install a virtual environment. Uh, virtual ENV, you can install using pip. Um, so I already have it installed. So I'm gonna skip that and just uh, set up the virtual environment. Okay, the next step is we need to activate our virtual environment. Okay, and then we see over here in parentheses, our virtual environment is actually running. So the next thing we need to do, um, there's a file down here called setup.py. So we have to pass the build and the install command. Okay, finally the install. Okay, at this point to verify that it's installed properly, we'll just type in the link checker command and then we'll pass in dash dash help. And so since we got the uh, man page, it looks like it's working. And to run it, it's gonna be the same as the Ubuntu version. So we just have to pass in link checker. And we'll just go it, uh, one level deep and then pass in our URL. And that is all you need to get Link Checker up and running on your Mac. Thanks for watching.